This is a follow-up to my earlier video called How to Make a Smooth Wing Shape in FreeCAD. This one is How to Make a Smooth Body Shape in FreeCAD. I've updated my FreeCAD version since the last video. I'm now using FreeCAD 101. In the original video, I used an airfoil section read from a file to make a wing shape. In this video, I want to extend that idea and make a complex body shape from sections also loaded from a file. This is the shape I'm going to make. It's the front fuselage and canopy of an F-16 from a drawing that I found online. I looked at the methods in FreeCAD to do this kind of thing, but I had problems getting smooth surfaces. So I ended up again writing my own script. If you can make your surfaces via primitive shapes, flat surfaces, circles, things like that, or you don't care exactly what the surface shape is, then FreeCAD has good methods to help you. So why might you want to use this method instead? The first reason is if you want to make shapes that can't easily be made with primitive shapes, but want some tighter control over the shape. The second is if you want a scripted method to build the shape, rather than doing a lot of manual operations. Finally, you might be interested in this video and subsequent videos as a learning tool for finding out about NURB surfaces. Watch on if you think this might be interesting. So here is the drawing I'm using. I want to make a model of an F-16 from this drawing, and I'm going to do the front fuselage in this example. I'm going to model this part excluding the intake using the sections shown here. I've got to digitize these sections by some method. I'm using MATLAB to do this, but you could probably use FreeCAD if you don't have any other suitable tool. In MATLAB, what I do is I read in the section as the background to a plot. I'm going to make this in two parts, the canopy, which will just be the best fit ellipses as shown here, and then the body section. Um, for the body section, I select the center point or origin, and then I plot radial lines and equal angles apart. And at each angle, I pick the left point and then the right point and take the average. The, this drawing is obviously manually drawn as it's not exactly symmetric. Just continue like that for all the points. Once I've done all the sections, this is what I end up with. These are the body sections. I added a few elliptical sections at the nose based on the side and the plan views. Notice that the front sections have continuous curvature, but a chine starts to appear from section 6. So I need to have a way to make the surface discontinuous here. The canopy sections look like this. It looks a bit odd here, but it will become clear later. I'm not going to go too much into the detail of the script here, but the script loads the sections from a file and fits B-spline curves through those sections and also through the longitudinal, sec or longitudinal lines that I'm calling ribs. This is the result for the body without the canopy. Notice that where I want to, where I want the discontinuity at the chine, I've done separate curves for the upper and the lower surfaces. Now what the script is going to do is make a series of surface patches called Coons patches. If I highlight some of the curves, I can explain here.
the script will make a coons patch for each area between two sections and two ribs. For example, for this patch here. The tricky part is that all the patches have to line up at the boundaries with matching slopes, except for where we want the chines to appear. Here's how we specify this in the input file. The file contains all the section data points, with some lines at the start to specify what curves and surfaces we want to make. The first line is just a title card. And you can also add comments on any other line after the data just by uh, adding a hash sign. The next line defines how many sections to come and how many points per section. So here we have eight sections with 15 points per section. Curve definitions come next. We have eight lines of curve definitions. So these eight lines here are all curve definitions. For the first of these, this is saying it's a type 0 curve, which means it's a section. Um, if it was type 1, it would be a rib. Uh, this part says we want curves from sections 1 to 5, starting at rib 1 and ending at rib 14. Uh, the last one means that we want this section to be periodic, meaning closed with matching slope and curvature. Now the next curve is not periodic. These are the curves where we want to have separate curves, top and bottom, so that we can get the chine. One is from ribs 1 to 8, and the other is from ribs 8 to 15. Sections 7 and 8 are similar. And then the rib curves are all the same. Ribs 1 to 15, sections 1 to 8. The next section is surface definitions. We have only one surface definition line and it just says make patches for sections 1 to 8 and ribs uh, 1 to 15. So that means all the patches. Finally, we have all the data points, X, Y and Z points, one point per line. Now to run the script, it's just set up as a macro called ITT make patches. Uh, we select the data file. Uh, I'm going to load the canopy first. Uh, it looks a little bit strange at the moment, but it will become clear. Now load the body. OK, so we have all the patches created. Um, the B-spline curves are also created, but they're hidden in this view. And to check how smooth the surfaces are, the best way is really to switch off all the lines and just show the shaded surface, which we can do from the display mode. So there we go, it's pretty smooth. There are some artifacts that make it look like there are some rough patches, but I think this is just the way FreeCAD renders the patches. Um, there could be some waviness if we, you know, if we put points too close together or the points aren't very accurate, but this is way better than anything I got with the, the built-in methods in FreeCAD. So you can see that this is made up of many patches that you can individually manipulate, delete, join, or do whatever you want with. You can also see that the, the chine appears nicely and then blends into the forebody where we want it to. 
So that's a quick overview of how the script works. It's, it's quite flexible for making different complex shapes. Um, I'm planning to go into that in another video, so I won't go into the details here. I'll just go through here a few tips for using the data file. Firstly, start with a simple file and add complexity once you've got something working. That makes everything much easier. Second, make sure you have an equal number of points in every section. For closed curves, where you want to join the start and the end, make the last point equal to the first point. Uh, for non-periodic closed curves, you can then use all the points to close the section without making the slopes match. For periodic curves, in the curve definition, leave out the last point and FreeCAD will close the curve automatically with the slope matched. Make sure you only have one data point on a line and make sure there's only one comment line at the start. You can add other comments on any line just by putting a hash mark after the data. Finally, how you space the points can make quite a big difference to how smooth the surface is. You should try to equally space your points or put them a reasonable distance apart so that you get a nice surface. If you put points very close together and they're not very accurate, you will get some waviness in the surface. Okay, that's the end of this quick intro to the script. You can download the script and the data files I've used in this video from my blog, as well as the final FreeCAD model of the fuselage as I've shown here. The link is in the description below. I'm going to make some more videos going into a bit more detail of how to use the script with some examples. Before I talk about that, I'd like to make a quick plea for you to subscribe if this has been interesting. I haven't bothered too much about getting subscribers up to now, but I decided I'd like to get to a thousand if possible. As an extra incentive to subscribe, I'm going to make the next set of videos unlisted at first. They'll go into a bit more detail about the script, uh, some other related topics, and with plenty of examples. If you subscribe, you should get a post from me with the links to those videos. You can also check back on my channel to see the posts anyway, even if you're not subscribed. As soon as I get a thousand subscribers, I'll make all the videos public anyway. Here's a list of the videos I'm going to make. The first video will give some more examples of different shapes, showing the flexibility of the file format. There'll be some tips about troubleshooting and common errors. There's a video with more detail about NURB surfaces and Coons patches, the maths behind it, and a run through of how the script works. Next is a video about how to combine surfaces if you make several parts and you want to join them. I'm also planning a video showing my complete F16 model built with this script. And finally, if you're interested in my other tools and how I set up the toolbar, I can do a video on that and share the tools as well. If you have a preference for which video I should release first, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.